Welcome to the Militia Gaming community, I'm Trigger, and we need to talk about the state of Forza Horizon 5. Let's go! Alright, real quick before we get into the video, I just want to mention we have a Forza Horizon 5 club in the game. You can look at online, then go to clubs and search Militia Gaming Community. In the future, we're going to be doing some exclusive club only events, so make sure you join the club so you can join those events on the channel. Alright, let's get into it. There have been a lot of people complaining about Forza Horizon 5 online, and I know people just like to complain online, but there is a little bit of legitimacy to these complaints. The game has been fairly broken as of late and kind of broken since launch there's a lot of afk glitches and skill point glitches and things to make the game just not fun anymore so i thought i'd go through some of the evidence of the game dying and evidence of the game living here in a video so that you guys can kind of weigh the pros and the cons and make a decision for yourself ultimately i will give you my opinion as well at the end of the video let's talk about the evidence of the game dying first and the most loud evidence that everyone can see are some of the bigger youtubers complaining about the game itself and the lack of views take a look at this tweet from black panther he says on december 6 the bugs in forza horizon 5 should surely affect the score now it's been a month and nothing has changed once again showing the racing game reviews from big media are and he uses the cow and poop emoji now what he's really talking about is he's talking about how bad the reviews are on this game he feels like they should be worse than what they are they're giving them you know 10 out of 10 and things like that but this is an indicator that he thinks the game is in a worse state than what people are actually saying from the media and if we move on to another large youtuber don joe on song he actually talks about the specific bugs in his tweets i've spent the last few hours trying to play forza horizon 5 after the most recent update and it's simply unplayable it's beyond broken and i'm almost at the point of quitting the game altogether it hurts to see it this way it really does it's such a shame to clarify i haven't been able to upgrade a single car there's an infinite loading time when he saves Game crashes when I leave the garage, game crashes on load up sometimes, and car just freezes randomly while driving. Loading times have increased to almost 5 minutes instead of the previous seconds. I understand this won't be happening to everyone and I'm super happy that it isn't. These are problems that are affecting me, an Xbox Series X player, with no means of solving any issue. For me personally, I cannot play the game. This is huge. This guy has spent so much time playing this game and every other Forza Horizon game. He is a huge fan of the series and he's a guy who is almost always positive when he does his videos. This is actually very, very telling. When someone like this is complaining, you have to listen because he is outwardly positive on the game in the past. The other tweet that caught my attention was from Black Panther. It says, damn, my audience really said we done with Horizon, LOL. Now he's referring to his recent views on Horizon videos. Seems like he's not getting enough views and therefore he believes his audience is sort of just not interested in the game anymore. And that's honestly because the community is just generally frustrated with the broken state of the game. There are several bugs, but most notably the multiplayer bugs like convoy connection strength and lack of players in arcade games and long loading times in Horizon Open. This is something that has been plaguing the game since it came out, and they really didn't fix it too much with the recent update. Now in addition to this, if you look at the most recent Forza Horizon Let's Go show, this is where they talk about new things to come in the game. It had the lowest view count since they started the series. There was almost no interest in it the day of, and it really hasn't got a lot of traction afterwards. In fact, AR12 Gaming's video which covered those updates got way more views than the actual Forza Horizon Let's Go. So this is something that you can keep an eye on and it kind of tells you that people are just generally not super interested in new content. I think they really want to see new updates. And speaking of updates, the most recent update, which was actually just a patch for some of the bugs, was supposed to fix some things. And it did fix some things, but it created other bugs in the process, making the game even more broken specifically for Xbox players. But I want to put all of the bugs and fixes and updates aside for just a moment because those things can be fixed in time. What isn't going to be fixed is that 
many of the players who have been following the Forza Horizon series feel like this game is not different enough from Forza Horizon 4. The common sentiment seems to be that it's basically just Forza Horizon 4 with a new map. The grind feels the same, the daily and weekly activities feel the same, and players seem to be just bored of the game only a month in. And I think I know why that is. Right when the game launched, there were a lot of AFK money exploits and skill point glitches that allowed you to make millions and millions of dollars and tons and tons of super wheel spins. I mean, players were able to collect every car in the game within the first like two to three days that they were playing if they were using these methods. And that just removed all incentive to play the game for many of those players. And those are the same players that are complaining about having nothing to do in the game. I mean, we're only a month in and a lot of those players are already just kind of coming back to the game once a week to do the festival playlist content. Now that's going to be the cycle going forward, but I have a feeling that a lot of those players are going to regret or they already regret doing all of those exploits and skill point glitches because now they really don't have any reason to play the game. Someone like myself who avoids those things. I have a lot of cars to collect and I have a lot of things that I still want to do. I have a lot of tunes to make and so for me the game is very alive. But let's just get into some of the evidence of this game being alive and the first thing I want to point out is that Playground Games is not EA. And this is specifically going out to my Need for Speed audience who is playing Forza Horizon 5. They will not abandon their players and their game. More updates will be coming in the future, more events, more patches to fix bugs. I believe this game will receive support for years to come. This is completely different than anything that EA does or any Need for Speed title. You get a couple of updates and then the game gets abandoned. So for people who played Need for Speed and got burned and are now playing Forza Horizon 5, or maybe who are just completely new to Forza Horizon 5, you really don't have to worry about Playground Games abandoning the game. The game is not going to sit in the state that it is in currently. There will be fixes, there will be updates, and speaking of updates, we have a holiday season update this week, and it brings over 20 new cars. Just think about that for a second, 20 new cars to the game. This is something that Need for Speed never did. I mean, we got two cars cars and need for speed heat that's it the whole time the whole life of the game so 20 new cars just for this seasonal update this holiday update we're also getting map changes and exclusive holiday themed cosmetics this is huge there's a ton of stuff in this update and this comes in the wake of a pretty terrible patch so i can see why players are a little bit frustrated but i think we need to look at this a little bit differently the fact that they are hyping new content while also acknowledging the issues with the game means they have a lot planned for the game and do not want to fall behind. This is really, really good. It also means that they care about the players sticking around. They want to give you more incentive to come back and play the game, and that's what we want. We want more incentive. We want more content. We want more cars. In addition to that, this Forza Horizon 5 game has seen more new players than the previous games in the series, and the new players tend to stick around a little bit and are more forgiving and willing to give the developer time to fix the issues and add more fun content. This is a good thing for the game. If you're just coming into Forza Horizon 5 or if you're just completely new to the Horizon series, this is a very, very good game. It is very enjoyable from the start. So I think it's going to be the default arcade racing game for most players until Need for Speed puts out their next game. Now, the bugs and issues, like I said, will be fixed in time. The communication from the developers is that they're working on the fixes, and that's something that we never got from Ghost when Need for Speed Heat was super broken. Communication and acknowledgement of the issues is a huge positive sign for the game. And lastly, the game is just simply fun to play when it's working properly. I honestly hated the Horizon Arcade until just recently where they made the events scale to the number of players participating, so now it's possible you can complete them solo and I actually had a great time playing it. Multiplayer racing is also getting better, load times are getting shorter, connections are getting stronger, and racing against other players is competitive and challenging. I also look forward to the new festival playlist each week because I like testing the reward cars to see how good they are compared to the cars I already have, and Rivals keeps me coming back to try and better my own times against all of my friends. Ultimately, I think this game's life will really hinge on the multiplayer experience. Is it fun to play with other players? Is it fun to compete with your friends? If the answer is yes to both of those questions going forward, 
then we have really nothing to worry about. The game will live on and be one of the most successful racing games of all time. If the answer is no, however, then players will get bored of the game and look for other things to play. From my point of view, it is fun to play with friends and it is fun to compete with other people in Horizon Open and Rivals, but only when the game is working properly. So the sooner they get these bugs fixed, the better. All right, that's it for this one, guys. I will have more Forza Horizon 5 content coming up, including some really awesome community and exclusive club only events. So keep your eye on the channel. Also, would really like your feedback on this. Do you think this game is dying already? Or do you think that this game has some life to go? Put that down in the comments. I would love to read your thoughts. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Shout out to all the militia subs. Trigger out.